All right, everyone, welcome back. We are doing a whole bunch of videos today since today is my day off and we don't have hockey tonight. So trying to work our business. So Peyton went back to virtual learning. We'll see if he stays there. Hopefully he's only coming up on breaks. Sorry, Miss Vaughn. Um, so we're gonna try to work our way through the new catalog so you get a bit of a sniff session. Some of these videos will have just me, some just him, and some of both of us. He has devised a whole plan, so work with us. So I am in charge of the Spice and Woods categories. Um, these were bigger categories in the last catalog, and as you probably understand, um, Spice is not a huge category this time around. So let's get started. So, um, the first one is Welcome Home. I have no idea what you're going to be able to see because I can't see behind the camera. So sorry if it's not extremely clear. So Welcome Home is a bestseller. Um, the description is warm and welcoming with cinnamon and spices. It is your basic warm um, home fragrance that just welcomes everyone into your household when they can actually come back into your household. Um, so this is a bestseller. It's been in the catalog for a while and with good reason. A new one to this catalog, but has been available in the past is Cinnamon Vanilla. It says inviting blend of vanilla beans, cinnamon, coconut, and cassia. Hmm. It's light in the tester, but a lot of times the bars are different than the testers. The cinnamon is very apparent, and so is the vanilla. I may or may not smell the coconut, and I don't know what I'm smelling for cassia. I guess I'm sheltered in some way. But it's a nice one. Another, I'm sure it would smell like you were baking if someone came into your house. So those are the only two spices. I told you that one was short. So that's why I'm going to do the woods category as well. So the woods category will start out with one that was in the catalog last year, Bonfire Beach. I put this one in my club because I wanted it to come back. Um, this one is a really nice one. Um, that is, I use it in the bathrooms a lot. Hey, Peyton. Are you on break or are you in trouble? <laughs> I'm in on, trouble. I'm on break. <laughs> He's on break. So Bonfire Beach. You gonna smell Bonfire Beach? I like That's this That's my one. favorite out of the woods. Out of the woods, me too. So it is, I've been told that Bath and Body has like a toasted marshmallow that smells like this. You can smell them. Well, it does say toasted marshmallow, so, you know. Okay, so the description, I probably should do that one. Uh, the description, toasted marshmallow smoldering over white flint and sandalwood harmonized with salty sea air and ocean spray. It smells like toasting marshmallows over a fire. He left again. Um, over a fire on the beach. This is a really good one. I like this one. It's not too manly. A lot of the woods ones have a little bit of masculine um, or musk in them, but that one's a really nice one. Um, new is Coastal Sunset. It is a beautiful lavender color wax, and I smell the coconut in it. Um, the description is creamy coconut and sandalwood set the scene for warm amethyst amber. Definitely the coconut and sandalwood. I could make up the amber. I don't know what the difference between regular amber and amethyst amber is other than it looks purple. But that is a pretty one too. Very beachy. Next is My Hero. This is one that came out in a Father's Day collection I think last year. Um, and the description is cool citrus and white birch ride a current of crisp air. It smells like a man's cologne and maybe a little bit like a cleaning agent in a good way. I could see this in a bathroom or in Gary's office. Maybe he'll use it at the firehouse, um, but I do like this one and it's not too strong. Some of the cologne ones hurt my head. This one's nice. Miss 
Mystery Man. This is a bestseller. It has been in the catalog on and off for quite a few years, I think. Um, it is, this one smells like cologne too, um, but not as citrusy. So it says warm white cedar, green verbena, and citrusy bergamot in a perfectly spiced sensual fragrance. Um, it's a nice one. It smells like cologne again. So it would be in the same category for me. It would be a bathroom or Gary's office. Um, might be a nice bedroom one. Um, if you like that in your bedroom, a lot of these I think are meant for more of a bedroom. All right. Three left satin sheets. This is another sensual one. Sensual and earthy sandalwood, perfectly paired with rich, warm vanilla. It's pretty. It, this is more like a perfume than a cologne. And again, this would be a good bedroom one. Um, that's been out for a while. And then the last two are leathers. This is a sheer leather. Says slip into something more sensual like bergamot and a subtle hint of leather and sandalwood. Um, I think we're getting the gist of this wood section this time. There's a lot of sandalwood, a lot of bergamot, and a lot of sensualness. Maybe that's good for our Valentine's Day. Um, so that's the sheer leather, which is a little bit more perfumey than the last one, which is weathered leather. Say that three times fast. Step into an old-fashioned saddle shop, brimming with dark suede, tooled leather, and vintage saddles over a backdrop of oak. Sounds super manly. I like this one better than the sheer leather myself. Um, it smells like leather. So when I was younger, I did like leather crafts and things like that. It smells just like the shop that we had to go to um, in Landover Hills to get our crafting supplies. So I really like it, but if you do not like the smell of actual real leather, this one's not for you. Um, the sheer leather might be more for you because it's more perfumey. I like all of them. Again, I don't know that any of them would be a living room or a kitchen scent for me. Um, they would all be either bathroom or bedroom or manly room. So, but that is the Spice and Woods category are the spice and wood categories. Um, so we'll sign off for this one and then one of us will bring you the next category soon.